Send a furnace, Natasha. Your voice is going to be on the internet. Watch yesterday for the city of Toronto upgraded to the freezing rain morning and winter storm warnings as well here in dark purple. This is where we are talking about ice pellets mixed with freezing rain. So we've done our best here to give you the storm timeline and tell you that we're still looking at some light rain as we head through the night tonight. From midnight to the morning drive, if you live up near Lake Simcoe, including Barrie and Innisville, we're talking about a few centimeters of snow. Rain. Hey, water boxer. This is what I have to deal with this weekend run high. We're going to continue to see that issue setting up for us over the next couple of days as we could tack on another 50 millimeters of rain. This is out toward Fergus on the Grand River. You can already start to see those high waterways rolling through, starting to spill the banks. Any folks in those areas that are prone to flooding on rain events like this, make sure those basement sub pumps are on the go. Here's what our forecast models are indicating as far as rainfall projections could get into the upwards of 40 to 50 millimeters of rain. It's even hinting that there could be a couple of pockets. That These are all in Celsius, by the way. Rain, so it is going to be quite the soaking that sets up, and that is not just the one. That's just one of the concerns of the many that will be coming our way through the night tonight and during the day tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Now you had a little problem with that graph, a little technical glitch. I'll show you what he was saying. That 83 of that 30 could be ice pellets that will be coming down. So it really is that mix that we're going to have to watch here. Some showers through this evening, two degrees to start off the day tomorrow, and we're not getting any warm than that when we hit zero is when we are expecting the greatest risk for freezing rain in the gta i think most of the day it's going to be rain mixed with ice pellets but as we head toward tomorrow night then we get into those icy conditions on surfaces and of course we'll have more details on this coming up